Hello, you're welcome to Tech with Helen channel. In today's video, I want us to explore two AWS essential services that play a crucial role in deploying scalable and highly available applications. Two services are Elastic Load Balancer and Auto Scaling Group. We'll learn practically how this works. We'll also, you know, deploy our application and we'll see with our very own eyes how these two applications or how these two services work work okay so we shall see how the load balancer works practically to help distribute uh, traffic to our servers as well as how auto scaling group can help us set scaling policies uh, to configure health checks for our instances in order to stay healthy and then handle any traffic that is being thrown its way and here is the real magic. Uh, we'll be deploying our application in a way that seamlessly integrates with both the load balancer and the auto scaling group. And I want you to witness this. All you need to do is to watch this video to the end. And I believe you're going to like that. This knowledge is very crucial to scale or pass your AWS exams, to ace your interviews, as well as to apply this in real world scenarios to manage your application or your servers in a production environment. Before I go ahead, please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to do so. Click on the notification bell so you get notified anytime I publish a new video. Also, give me a thumbs up if you are enjoying this video already. Now I have my load balancer here and what is a load balancer? A load balancer is a service in AWS as well as in other public cloud that will automatically distribute incoming application traffic across multiple targets or across multiple servers, right? Ensuring no single instance bears too much load. So over here, I have uh, a load balancer trying to route traffic to uh, three different servers. Imagine load balancer as a traffic cop for your web application. So when users try to access your website or your application, uh, it is the work of Elastic Balancer to evenly distribute traffic or incoming requests among a fleet of EC2 instances. So this not only ensure better performance of your website or application, but also enhances fault tolerance. So if one server goes down, Elastic Load Balancer will reduce direct traffic to healthy instances so let's say server one is not healthy this um load balancer will automatically detect that and it will avoid you know routing traffic to that server one it should be routing to server two or server three so this will equally distribute traffic to ensure that um the traffic is not only routed to this uh, server one it will just equally distribute the traffic all right and features of the load balancer is that it distributes traffic across multiple availability zones it regularly checks the health of instances and route traffic only to healthy one so if server one is not healthy it will detect that automatically and route it to other servers it also manages ssl or tls certificates to enable secure connection so it can make use of that you can add your certificate or whatever you're using for your SSL termination to load balancer just to ensure you have uh, a secure application so we'll be making use of application load balancer in AWS. Now talking about scaling group we have over here. So basically our servers will be deployed to our uh, auto scaling group and auto scaling group is nothing but a service in AWS that helps you to, you know, automatically adjust the number of Amazon EC2 services or Amazon EC2 instances in a group, all right? So it will help to maintain application availability and allows you to scale your infrastructure based on demand or a defined uh, schedule. Imagine you run a popular e-commerce website and during normal weekdays, the traffic is moderate. However, every Friday evening, you host a flash sale and uh, the, the flash sale causes traffic um, to dramatically increase like you have this surge that will just come up dramatically so the challenge with without the auto scaling is that you need to manually provision additional servers ahead of the flash sale and then scale down afterward 
So here in AWS, like I mentioned, I have two servers running and I've uh, deployed my application already. Do not worry, I will share the script that I used uh, in the description below. So let's check it out. Let's see what I have running in one of the servers. So if I copy the public IP address and paste it here. Uh, so this is what I have here. I just created it for this demo. Nothing much, right? So I would like us to learn or see how a load balancer can uh, route traffic to these two servers that I have. So, uh, from the left navigation pane, I'm going to click on load balancers and I'll click on create a load balancer. So here we have application load balancer. We have network load balancer, gateway load balancer. We are choosing an application load balancer. And you need, you use application load balancer when you want a flexible feature to set your application with HTTP and HTTPS traffic. All right. We'll be using HTTP traffic. Uh, so we'll go with application load balancer. Uh, so I'm going to click on create application load balancer. And here I'll just type um, demo ALB as the name of my load balancer. If I scroll down, uh, I'll leave this as internet facing because yeah, it will be an internet facing load balancer. Uh, I'll leave this as default. So coming to network mapping, I didn't create a custom VPC for this. So we'll be using a default VPC and it's already selected here. So, um, so I'll just leave it the way it is and scroll down for the mapping. The availability zone I would like to use is, uh, us East one a and, um, us, uh, is one B. And if I scroll down, uh, I don't have a security group for my ALB. So I want to create a new security group. I'll just uh, right click and open this in a new tab so that I can create a security group for my um, application load balancer. So I'll name this demo ALB SG copy it and paste it here as well and if i scroll down i need to click on add inbound rule and the rule i'll like to add here is http traffic right uh it should be accessible from anywhere and that is all i need to do i'll click on create a security group and that is done so i'll return to the other tab to continue with the load balancer creation so here i will just refresh so that the security group can uh show up here so this is it i'll select it i'll i'll be removing the default uh, security group so scrolling down for listeners and routing so a listener is a process that checks for connection request using the port and protocol you configure so the listener i'll be using here is port 80 and that is okay we are not using any ssl uh certificate so in case you're you're doing this for production purpose please you need a certificate uh, so that you can make use of ssl termination since it's one of the feature in load balancer uh we also need to have a target group but i don't have a target group already created so i'll just you know open this in a new tab so we create a target group a target group a target group is basically what will contain our ec2 instances so load balancer can route traffic to that the type is instances so i'll leave that selected uh, here I will need to name it so ALB target. Um, if I scroll down, the protocol is HTTP in uh, port 80 is fine. IP address type is IP, IPv4 and is okay. The VPC is the default VPC, so I will leave it, leave all these things the way they are. So to perform health check, I basically want to use. Um, just this slash here i don't want to change it but you can customize uh yours if you want so i'll advance i'll expand the advanced health check setting here you can actually um 
this is where you set up how you want the health check to go the healthy threshold your healthy threshold and all this thing but i'm leaving all this thing as default as i'm okay with this for the success code that will be displayed when my application response is uh perfect is 200 so i want the uh the success code of 200 which is default to be displayed going down i'll click next so this is where you register targets we need to registering target means to add that group of instances you want uh, a load balancer to distribute traffic equally to so uh available instances i have are two servers and these are the two servers i want to register as the target i'll just select them so after selecting them um i'll click on include as spending below and then i'll click on create a target group great this target group has been created so let's go back to creating our load balancer so i'll just refresh here and then i'll select the target group okay and as global accelerator you can add this if you want to have uh a static IP address, which can help to improve the performance and availability of your application, depending on what you're working on. So, having configured all this, let's create our load balancer. So, this load balancer will allow us to have a domain name. We have a DNS name, uh, which we can use to access the two servers instead of using single ip or using ip addresses to assess each of the servers so we'll give this a moment to provision because as you can see it is still uh the status shows it is still provisioning so the status shows active and so scrolling down i'll see uh details of my elastic load balancer under listeners you can see a group right if our traffic to the target group so let's check if this is actually working the way we want it before we go into auto scaling group. So uh, I'll just copy the DNS name. And so let's go to the browser and check it out. I'll press enter. Great. This is working perfectly. So um, load balancer just routed traffic to server two. So let's see if it will route to server one i'll refresh this page you can see it just routed to server one i refresh again to server two server one so this is how this load balancer will equally distribute traffic to these servers ensuring that no server is overwhelmed let's go to auto scaling group and see how this works so let's create our auto scaling group to help us manage our uh, traffic so let's name this um, demo auto scaling group. So before we go ahead, we need to create a launch template. We can't create ASG without uh, having a launch template. And this template contains the configuration information to launch an instance that will be in this auto scaling group. Okay. So um, it, it provides a modern and flexible way to configure instances compared to other launch configuration. So uh, I can click on create a launch template. So for this launch template, I can either create an image out of the server that runs my application already, or I can make use of user data to deploy the application afresh. So I'm going to show you that. You can just name it a uh, demo template. Okay. And for template version description, uh, I can say one and i'll scroll down to select the image i want to use i'll click on quick start to select ubuntu and scrolling down um yeah can use ubuntu server to 2.04 uh scrolling down let's select the instance type as 
instance type as C2 micro for the key pair I'll select my key pair name I have already if you don't have a key pair please create a key pair from here uh, scrolling down I'm using the default VPC right and I uh, will basically use the same security group I use for other um, servers so please create a new security group if you don't have it already security group has ports 80 set as the inbound rule as well as uh, SSH so if you are creating a new one port 80 and uh, SSH is okay I'll click on advanced detail and if I scroll down here this is where I'll now have to also um you know add the user data that can help to launch my application so that it will be part of my auto scaling group so that this server that runs my application will be part of auto scaling group so this is this and this is my script this will basically uh, update my server it will install apache 2 it will create a new directory and switch to that directory and here it will download uh, a zip file which is where my uh, code is stored after downloading that if it will install zip uh, zip application to my server so that it will on it so that it can be able to unzip what i've downloaded so after the installation of the zip it will unzip what i have downloaded that is my application code right after that it will navigate to the extracted directory from my from what was downloaded once it switched to that directory it will move the content of what i have in this directory to this directory which is where the default apache um, page is is stored right so it will just remove the default apache page and uh, you know add my application code then it will it will now switch to the home directory and run sudo system ctl enable apache 2 and start the apache 2 them so uh that is it for this i'll just click on launch template and then i'll scroll down and click on view launch template great and this launch template has been created now coming back to the page uh to continue with uh configuration of the auto scaling group i'll refresh this so that the launch templates can ref uh, reflect so this is it here i'll choose it and then scroll down to click next so here where we have instance type requirement auto scaling group we then use this launch template to uh, deploy the server for us which will run the application on the network i have the default vpc selected already i'll leave it that way and then for the availability zone i'm using us east 1a and us east 1b if you want more highly available you can select more than this but i'm okay with two i'll click on next uh, we'll be using a load balancer that it's that is existing already the one we created so i'll click on attach an existing load balancer right so let's choose our load balancer uh target group that will help to uh that will help them to integrate so by choosing the alb target group uh automatically we've chosen the load balancer that can help to route traffic to the target to the target instance if i scroll down i can um you can see ec2 health check is always enabled and that is fine you can turn on elastic load balancing health check okay you can just turn it on so turning this on will enable load balancer to monitor whether instances are available to handle requests so when you report that your instance is unhealthy what uh, auto scaling group we do is that on its next periodic check it can replace that uh, server with a healthy one 
health check grace period uh, 300 is okay uh scroll down you can also enable group metric collection but i don't want all this i'll click on next uh this is where we can now set the desired capacity and what is desired capacity when you're creating your um auto scaling group Desired capacity here means the target number of instances you want to start with. So let's say I just want to start with one server because currently I don't I have low demand. So one server can serve. I can just type, I can leave this one as it is here. All right. So coming to this scaling limit here, we can set a limit on how much our desired capacity can be increased or decreased. I can say that at any point in time, I want the minimum server of one to be available in my environment. I don't want it to be scaled into zero. So at any point, whether anybody is accessing the application or not, there should be minimum server running. And for the maximum, I can say three. So even if the whole world is trying to access my application, I don't have the money to have auto scaling groups, scale it to 10 or 20 servers i wanted to keep it to three servers right and tomorrow if i decide that i want to increase my budget i can make it five or ten or hundred or one thousand so this is the minimum right but please note that it is this desired is the instance that your auto scaling group will start with and then uh, according to the traffic it's either scales in or scale out Scaling out means adding more servers. Scaling, scaling in means to reduce the number of servers you have according to the metric. So you can actually set a target tracking scaling policy where you set in some metrics to help auto scaling group move to determine when to scale in or scale out, right? So if I'm choosing average CPU utilization as the metric type, I can say whenever the CPU value threshold is up to 70 percent please scale out means add more server because i don't want the i want i don't want a particular server to be overwhelmed right at least when it gets to 70 or 80 right it should scale out i can as well set a scaling policy and so that is it if i uh here you can also enable instance scaling protection. I'll click next and here you can add notification. You can send notification to SNS topic, but we are not configuring that. I'll click next. Uh, you can tag it as well, but I don't want so. That is basically all we need to do here. I'll click on create scaling group. Dating the capacity. So let's give this a moment and click on it to open so here my auto scaling group is set all right uh, you can see what we configured if i click on activity this is where you can actually see what is happening so here it launched a new instance remember my desired capacity is one so it launched just one ec2 instance for me and deployed the application according to what i gave it in the user data so when it scales out or scale in you can see or read that from the activity history here uh you can also go to automatic uh, automatic scaling and please note you can actually edit the dynamic scaling policy you've set so i can actually you know select this target tracking policy if i want to edit it right so you can just adjust how you want asg to or uh, scaling or to scale out here you can disable scaling to only have a scale out policy okay and you can update it You can see instance management monitoring and all that. Now let's go and see the instance that got launched from this ASG creation. Here I have this one that just got added. I can add the tag as um, server three. 
and then I want to SSH into this instance. So I want to SSH into this server and I want to update the configuration. So using my terminal, I'll SSH. So I'm now inside this server and what I basically want to do is to go into this directory, uh, HTML. So here I have my code, right? Uh, so from here, I want to open it. So sudo vim index.html. Add here just to indicate that the load balancer is routing to server 3, right? And that is all I need to do. So I will use sudo systemctl reload apache2 so that I can reload it and then I can. Uh, check the status to ensure that it is running and this is running great so going back let's check this from the browser and just to ensure that the change is reflecting server 3 so right now let's do the manual validation let's ensure that the load balancer has integrated well with the auto scaling group and ensure that it routes traffic to the two servers we first of all deployed manually as well as the servers that we have from auto scaling group so if i go to load balancer i can click on load balancer here to get the dns name so just click here and get the DNS name here, browser, I'll paste it here. And let's see if the three servers can be great. E router to server three, router to server two, router to server one. Can you see how it is equally distributing traffic to these servers? Great, our load balancer is doing very well. For the auto scaling group, what happens is that whenever there is high demand or when the, the traffic increases, auto scaling group will using the you know the scaling policy we've set in place, it will you know scale out, add more instances to help to handle the number of traffic that we're having. And when the traffic is low, it can scale in in order to uh, save cost, just to ensure that we don't have idle servers lying around. So with this knowledge in load balancer and auto scaling group, I am confident that you can have or deploy a very highly available, scalable and fault tolerant application or infrastructure. If you enjoyed this video, please don't leave without giving me a thumbs up. Also share this with your friends comment just to give me a feedback how is this video helpful to you subscribe if you've not done so and as well click on the notification bell so you always get notified anytime i publish a new video and before you go ensure that you delete your target group if you are just practicing delete your target group delete the low balancer and the auto scaling group I'm going to be leaving the script I used in the description below. Thank you so much. I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.